What's going on, boxing fans? It's your boy, Pool Counter Boxing. Just want to give my two cents. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. So, you know, we saw Will Smith, you know, slap uh, Chris Rock. You know, nobody really cares about that. Nobody really cares. The only reason I'm talking about it is because they from my era. You know what I'm saying? You know, I grew up with them guys. You know what I'm saying? I'm an old head. And, uh, you know, you know, I've grown up. You know, me and my boys fought all the time, you know. But we grown men now. And you don't want to see, you know, two black stars, you know what I'm saying, showing out like they're teenagers, right? You know what I'm saying? Especially with all the dignity, you know, because that was the first Oscars that was, um, that was uh, produced by black people. And you know, they, you know, the stigma about black people once we all get together, you know what I'm saying? We act like, you know what I'm saying? The N word, right? Act like a bunch of monkeys or something, you know? So, you know, I really don't care about the slap because, you know, Chris Rock, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure, you know, it was embarrassing and everything, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, if Chris Rock would have took it another way, and, you know, he would have fought back. Then we really would have been looking stupid out there. You know what I'm saying? In the eyes of the world. You know what I'm saying? These are two of our biggest stars. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, we don't want them. You know, they kind of represent us. You know what I'm saying? Even though they're not us individuals. But, you know what I'm saying? You know, when, when, it, when you're a star, when you're a black star, you carry the burden of... Uh, or the image of all, of all black men, especially two big mega stars like, you know, Chris Rock and, um, you know, Will Smith, you know, they kind of carry the burden because they're the biggest stars in Hollywood. So that's all we got. You know, Denzel Washington, you know, he's always dignified and cool. You know what I'm saying? So we ain't got to worry about him. But we never thought we had to worry about Will Smith because that, that nigga was the Prince of Bel-Air. You know what I'm saying? He was cool. White people love him. He crossed over you know what I'm saying? He made that, you know, it's very rare to have a star that could cross over and, you know, get that get that white love. You know what I'm saying? And um, he got it. He did it. He became super famous. But just like all people who are in the limelight, you know, you know, you'll fall, you know, you're going to have your ups and downs, right? So they did that red top crap. And most black people know you don't put your business out there in the street. And uh, he made that mistake. I don't know why. I don't know why, because, you know, every, everything they do, people are going to follow it. People are going to, you know, judge and stuff like that with their kids and the way they're raising their kids and everything with uh, Jaden, you know, wearing dresses and Willow, you know. I don't know what the hell Willow doing. But I really don't care. You know what I'm saying? That's their family. That's their business. But when you go on TV and you make a TV show talking about all your dirty laundry, you airing your dirty laundry out there, then you're going to have the people, the trash folks out there commenting on your family and it's all personal. And so, you know, Jada came out a few years ago, you know what I'm saying, with the red top table and she had some entanglement with some little young dude. You know what I'm saying? That make Will look crazy. You know what I'm saying? So and he's sitting at the table like a fool. You know what I'm saying? With tears in his eyes. You know what I mean? So, you know, all I'm saying is you don't do that, bro. You know what I mean? You know, I mean, if he made that, they made that decision, it's a lot come with it. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot come with it, a lot of stress. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, he got big shoulders. You know, he's been in the public eye for, you know, since he was a teenage rapping. And so, you know, for him to, you know, I don't know if it was fake you know what I'm saying? You know, it could have been fake. You know what I'm saying? But that's why it don't really mean that much to me because it's not like he jumped on Chris Rock and stopped beating him or something. He just went up there and slapped him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the only reason it was a big thing because it was at the Oscars where a lot of eyes on him. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, who really watched the Oscars anymore? The biggest thing about the Oscars was that damn slap. Nobody cared about the damn movies that they making nowadays. Everybody on Netflix. Everybody watching um, YouTube, you know what I'm saying, conversations now. Nobody will care about the Oscars. 
You know what I'm saying? So that slap really brought the attention to the Oscars, you know, if you ask me. Because reality TV is what's taking over, you know what I'm saying, the media right now. So, you know, it's not really a big deal. But as far as our image, it took a hit. As black men, you know what I'm saying? You know, we can solve our problems in a different way. We know Will Smith and Chris Rock, you know what I'm saying? They, they're classy individuals. Um, you know, as far as, you know, what's going on between Will and Jada, that's really none of our business. You know, it's none of our business. You know, we should get back to what we doing in our lives. You know what I'm saying? That's what's important. What the hell are you doing? They rich. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be all right, even if they don't make it. They're going to be okay. You know what I'm saying? You know, what you gonna, what's going gonna to happen with you? How you going to keep your lights on? You know what I'm saying? What, what your kids are doing? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? What, what you going to do when the landlord come and slap your ass? You know what I'm saying? Go to jail? You know what I'm saying? Or you going to sit there and take it? You know what I'm saying? Or what, what, you, know what I mean? you know what I mean? So you got to worry about yourself, man. You know what I mean? Don't, don't be worried about what these stars are doing. Yeah, it makes for good conversation, you know, and things like that. But if my man is uh, under stress like that, you know, just let him, you know, give him time. You know what I'm saying? Let him work it out. Don't be, you know, comparing him to toxic masculinity and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You know, he's going through something. When you're going through something, you know, you may react in a way that you're not even used to. You know what I'm saying? Because you're under different kind of stresses. And I'm pretty sure we all been there before. And then when you are in the public eye, like Will Smith is probably amplified a thousand times over, right? So, you know, I'm not saying that to defend... Well, you know, he shouldn't put his hands on my man, but, you know, um, you know, he felt like he was on the spot and, you know, he made a dumb decision. You know what I mean? And, you know, Chris Rock didn't press charges because Chris Rock a real G. You know, he's like, hey, man, my man, you know, he came up here, smacked me. But, you know, something, you know, Will don't usually just go out there and smack everybody. You know what I'm saying? He felt like, you know, it was uh, a one time, you know crazy thing that he did you know what i mean and chris just kept the show going you know what i'm saying and you know he kept his composure you know and he just let will get off on that one but you know the next one i'm pretty sure chris gonna be you know he gonna be ready for it you know and i know a lot of people be talking about uh chris rock you know said something last time about jada and and they felt like you know will had to come white knighting as a as her husband defender but you know that shit could get you killed you know of course chris rock you know he ain't gonna do nothing in the position he's in you know what i'm saying because we all know if you act up on these damn jobs in front of white folks you know the first anytime there's violence because they you know they they want to say little sneaky things to you you know what i'm saying you ain't gonna do shit you know you're gonna sit there and keep your job so you can keep your lights on and take care of your family you know what I'm saying? So don't be tripping. Don't be tripping because Chris Rock ain't do nothing. Don't be calling them no punks and all that. That man trying to eat. He got a big ass mansion. He got he got stuff he got to keep up. So, you know, he can't let it go down the drain because, uh, cause, you know, some crazy, crazy uh, star come up there and smack him. Nah, he did. He was smooth. Because, you know, if that was any, uh, any one of us, we probably would have went off. You know, we would have been, we would have been, we would have been fighting the shit out of Will Smith. You know what I'm saying? We would have lost everything. He wouldn't have been invited back to the Oscars. You wouldn't have made no more movies. You know what I'm saying? You had to go home and face your wife. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you act like a nigga again. There you go. You done lost your position. You done lost your job. And, and look at you. Now you got to, now, now you got to uh, maintain everything you got because your reputation is in the trash, right? So, you know, just look at it as a teachable moment. You know what I'm saying? And, um... You know, you know, don't worry about them guys. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be all right. And, you know, who knows? Probably, I'm pretty sure they done already called each other. And we are probably like, hey, man, you know, I was on one. And Chris was like, hey, man, don't even worry about it, man. You know what I'm saying? I know what it is. Because I'm pretty sure Chris done been through it. He done went through a divorce. And, you know what I'm saying? He been, he been through some hard times with women. So, you know, we got to support each other's brothers out here, you know. And, um... You know what I'm saying? Don't be hard on these dudes because, you know, they live in life just like everybody else, man. It's just shit just came up in the public. You know what I'm saying? And 
they just got to be more aware of what's happening and all the chatter don't really mean nothing but that's all i got this has been full kind of boxing make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to my channel and uh remember what i say man law don't go around here law dog you savvy see you in the next one